Welcome back to Just Academy Mathematics YouTube channel where we make you a mathematics genius. Today we have a NECO 2003 number 24 further mass question and it's, from, uh, it's a mapping question. They say that if f of x uh, is given as this fractional expression and s is not equal to 1, they say we should find f the inverse of 2 the uh, inverse of 2. So what we are going to do, solution, is that first we need to find the inverse of f of x before we can find the inverse of what? The inverse of 2. So if f of x is given as 3s plus 4 all over x minus 1, to find the inverse, what do we do? Very simple procedure. To find the inverse of this function, what we'll do is that we say let y, uh, let y be equals to this, this, 3s plus 4 over s minus 1. So we just leave this behind. Let y be equals to this. So we'll go ahead and make x the subject of the formula. Let's make x the subject of the formula. Uh, make s the subject. Uh, if we make s the subject, we'll have what? We'll have that. We'll have that. Uh, uh, we'll have um, y times x minus 1 is equal to 3x plus 4. Remember, we're interested in what? We're interested in making s the subject of the equation so what do we do we need to open the bracket so we have uh, x y minus y is equals to 3 x plus 4 so we collect like this so we have that x y bring this s where this side minus 3 x is equals to 4 this minus y bring it this i have plus y so bring that x s is common x outside you have y minus 3 is equals to 4 plus y so what do we do the bible said by y minus 3 we now have that s is equals to 4 plus y over y minus 3 now to get the inverse eh, we substitute y with s to get the inverse what do we do we substitute we replace uh, y with x to get the what? To get the inverse. To get the inverse. We just substitute uh, y, uh, y with x here. Then we'll get the inverse. So what that means is that, therefore, f of minus 1, that is the inverse of x, the function we started with is equals to anywhere you see y, you put what? x. So 4 plus x over x minus 3. So we have gotten the inverse of x. Now that we know the inverse of x, can we now find the inverse of um, uh, inverse of 2? So that means anywhere we see uh, x here, we have to put what? 2, which is which means 4 plus 2 over 2 minus 3. So finally, the inverse of 2 is equal to 4 plus 2 is what? is 6 and and then um, 2 minus 3 is what minus 1 so that will give us what to give us minus 6 as answer and that is option what option a so that is how to solve for uh, uh, the inverse of a function when it comes to mapping let me show you again just come to the beginning so the procedure is simple this is a function given, a mapping function given. To find the inverse of this, let y be equals to this expression. Make x the subject of the formula. You will get this. Now, by the time you replace this y here with x, that is the inverse of that function. So that is why I say that the inverse raised to the power of minus 1 of the original function is that we have to now replace this two y with x. So we cannot be able to find the inverse of what? 2, which is minus 6. I believe you have learned something. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, 
share this video now and then recommend this video. See you in our next class. Thank you.